name is Patricia and I am from the channel Patricia Bright. Becoming a teen can be a confusing time in any girl's life. So hopefully I can help and this is why I'm supporting the Lilette's campaign to give you one less thing to worry about. So make sure you check out becomingateen.co.uk where you can find out lots more. So lots of my friends were different sizes and shapes and I was definitely the skinny girl and then there were girls who had curves and boobs and boyfriends and all that kind of good stuff. And you know what, I did feel quite jealous and I wish that I had more going on on the top half and more hips and all that good stuff so that I looked womanly but that just wasn't the body that I was given and the reality is now you know, I was able to grow into my figure more and they've grown into their figures as well but I understand that body confidence is hard. The reality is you have to just realise that everybody is different and unique in their own way and people will like you for you, not just what you look like. And if they only like you for what you look like, then they're clearly not worth your time. And I always say, just, I always say, enjoy what you have while you're young and while you can because things change so much and some things can go south or can go east or go west or whatever so while you're young embrace it. So the pressure of the media was definitely strong. Back in my day, it was more like the magazines and all the girl bands and all that kind of stuff. And I looked at them and thought, you know what, I genuinely don't look anything like that. And um, it is hard out there, but sometimes you just have to look around you. Look at the girls in your school and you'll find that if you sat down at lunchtime, the girls who look completely different, some are six foot, some are two foot, some are you know, really curvy, some are really skinny. And when you realize that around you, that everybody is different shapes, it's easier to accept what you look like. The reality is that the media sometimes has got a selected, you know, a very selected view. What you're seeing are people who might have had different work done or have got different body types and different eating habits and so they look the way that they do but if you look at your street and the everyday girl when you go to the park or a fair or something like that you'll see that everybody looks different and looking different isn't a bad thing because we're all meant to be unique in our own way. So it's definitely important to be confident in your own skin and embrace what you have and walk in confidence. And I always say that someone's going to like the unique things about you. And if they don't, you like it. It's always important to just do you and work in it. And changes happen. Life is all about change. So you might not have that many changes now, but you'll realise that you look a lot different now than you did a year ago. Um, whether it's good or bad, that's up to you to decide, but change is part of the journey, so embrace it and enjoy it. So I definitely feel pressure because I am on the internet and I do a lot of social media, but in the same breath, you know, sometimes I just have to tell myself, this is the way I am, and if I don't like something, and I can work on it, then I will make the effort to work on it. And if I can't change it, then I have to just simply embrace it and roll with it with confidence. Mm -hmm.